for a nail tutorial. This is the nail area. So I'm gonna start, I'm not a professional, okay? In any way, shape or form, I just have fun. So I figured we all can just hang out. So feel free to comment, ask questions, say what's up. Hello, Desiree, how are you? If anybody has any tips as like an actual nail tech too, let me know that. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Princess T. Hey, Brittany. How's it going with WoW? Yay, someone said I've been waiting for this. Heather said, what colors are you gonna do? Um, so I have a favorite nail polish company, well, two. There's um, Mooncat, I love their colors, but Schlee Polish is completely handmade. Um, and she has a lot of Taylor Swift named nail polishes, so of course I bought them. Um, but this one is all too well, and it's like a murky red green. I'm gonna see how that goes. I think it'll be fun. I guess I could test it really quick. Um, and then I'm either gonna stamp little clouds or little, um, yeah, that's, that's the vibe. Um, or spider webs, that's the color. But I'm gonna have some fun with it too. So this is probably gonna take an hour and a half, two hours, I don't know. This is why I should just go to a professional. So squeaky. Hi, <laughs> <I> Garth. <laughs> <laughs> of all things to join in and hang out on. Um, so I'm, honestly, I'm just gonna get the color off and then add new gel to this. My nails are a mess, but I am not very good at doing my own. Yeah, I don't know. I got really into it, was it April before Dorothy was born? Or just after? No, it was before. I mean, I enjoyed doing nails before that, but like when your hands hurt and you can't sew, it's nice to paint them, but with sewing, I can't do regular nail polish because it'll chip and flake really bad. So I like doing the gel and gel builder. Oh my God, Robert, I love it. Uh, Lynette said, see you soon at SME. I'm so excited, what am I bringing to sell? Okay, so I won't have any hardware. We're gonna have um, some notions. We're gonna have glitter clips. We're gonna have the um, eight inch by 24 inch rulers, tons of vinyl, um, and then some random fabrics here and there, um, and then clothing. <laughs> Do my nails, you know. I have to pay to get mine done. Nothing stays on for mine if you don't get acrylic. I don't know that I've ever had acrylic. Oh, oh. no, it's okay, show me. Oh. What, it doesn't matter. This is with the default settings. They actually turned out really well. So like, you can kind of see the two oh, points wow. of that, how they're perfectly, yeah. that's really good. And then, wow. Um, so these lines right here, it's like you imagine you fold them together and they're supposed to fit in perfectly. Okay. They're all really well. And all yeah. these dots right here, would fit in those holes. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is this line here and I, I have to look up what that means, but I forgot. Cause but, like the gradient scale isn't quite even. Yeah. Oh, huh. it's not bad though. Yeah, this is with the so default cool. settings. Well, that's good. Yeah. You hope it comes. I well, my Creality, I had to do like eight or nine tests before. Mm. Yeah, that middle one is really good. That's way better than I, my Creality was. Good. 
Yeah, I'm running another validation test that came with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone what? said, how's the Tesla foodie? He's the Tesla resin printer. Yeah. <laughs> That was so nice, Bow Books. <laughs> Someone said cool PJs. Uh, CJ is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. He has a resin printer. Well, he got a new one um, because I really want to do classroom awards. Hey, I'm on my Patreon Zoom, but I'll listen after. Oh, yay. Aren't files a necessary notion? I have one by my sewing machine. Yeah, that's true. Okay, sorry. So excited for all of you to the expo. Can't wait. Yes, don't wait. Uh. Oh, good night, Jennifer. See you soon. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do classroom awards. <laughs> um, so I have three per class, and they're just funny. Like one will say most chaotic sewist, and that'll be like the first person who throws everything on the floor accidentally, just because they're the right kind of mess, you know what I mean? Oh, Benali, that's incredible. Just got, just had to let you know I tried the double-sided tape method and it worked really well. Ah, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm just gonna come in chaotic now. <laughs> I won that award. No, you can't do that. I had an e-file, but it is broken. So we're gonna do it this way. May I ask the update on the rainbow zipper jig? Yes, you absolutely can. I believe production is finished. They are waiting to hear back about packaging. Um, initially, I wanted just like a little bubble mailer with like the heart not a bubble mailer, but a little bag, bubble wrap bag with like the heart bubble wrap. And they're like, sure, okay. And then they're like, okay, they don't have that. And I was like, well, I don't want just a plain old normal bag of, but you know, <laughs> we've waited so long. <laughs> like they've literally been in production since January. Can I just have them? Thank you. So I'm really hoping the end of November. So that's the update. If I had any other than the one I'm using, I would sell it so fast. Like, ah. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is, would you guys say buff and then let soak for just a little bit? I'm terrible at removing this stuff. Well, my mom gave me, I'll try it again. My mom gave me from Gel Moment this gel polish remover flake off. So I will tr I will try it. All right, after curing it, it isn't as good as I thought it was. It's still oh. really good. Yeah. It just isn't. Like, I can get the resolution a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But as a first test, it's really good. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah. I soak my polish off after a light filing, then I wrap them with acetone pad and foil wrap. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They did that in my motorcycle course. I got most improved rider. <laughs> See you next week. Kathy, I'm so excited. <laughs> Kathy, go to bed. She can't, she's peeing her pants. Okay. Okay. I will try it because this is actually gel. It, Normally I do gel, regular polish, and then a gel top. So like, it just doesn't take it off. Which is fair, it's not what it's meant to do. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there now while I'm still filing.
I'm super excited. I have officially been accepted to teach for Texas Sew Magical Expo. We're gonna have a, oh, we're gonna have such a fun class. They stay on it, it comes off easy. You don't have to file down to your nail. Okay, someone said, someone said, okay. I saw a TikTok video, put acetone in a baggie with a dryer sheet and put baggie in hot water to warm it up. Soak nails in baggie for 10 minutes. Mm. I'm just sneaking into the comment. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, like you weren't going to already be accepted to teach. Kayla, it's not official till it's official, okay? It's gotta be official. <laughs> Hello, Pamela. Not Joanne's. Um, Kayla, can I mention the classroom thing? Like, what's going on in the classroom? If you're listening. If you're not, that's fine. Co-stalking. Mm -hmm. Committed co-stalkers. The biggest reason I'm redoing my nails is because they're lifting and it catches my hair. Um, what? What classroom thing? You know, like the machines that are going to be in the classroom? We need a mail, nail station, oh my gosh. Oh, are the industrials not a secret? I don't know what's a secret and what isn't a secret. Don't tell me secrets. I, I can't keep them. Um, Sweet Pea, I do have an e-file, but it broke. Um, I just haven't gotten a new one. Yes, so there's an industrial classroom. Um, and I'm unbelievably stoked. No secrets, okay, great. Yeah, don't tell me secrets. Unless you tell me specifically, don't tell anybody even if they ask. <laughs> this is coming, I think it's gonna come off. Um, so I wanna do, it's gonna be epic. Um, the Emily Tote, but because it's a classroom, because we have to make kids, it can't be quite so involved. So I wanna do the reverse applique Emily tote, which is all vinyl exterior. Um, you can have a vinyl accent for the underside of the tote, and then we'll just do like connectors within the seam along the top, or maybe just crossbody, or maybe just tote. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe just magnetic snap. Unless it's a really long class, but that's the biggest thing is like, you know, you have to fit it into such a time. You want to see as many students as possible. So it's hard. It's hard to plan to be a teacher. It's hard to be a teacher. It's hard to be Kayla who's organizing the whole fucking thing. Oh, God, God love her. Okay, we'll try this for a few minutes. Brittany is teaching too. Yes, cat toy. I almost said cat toy, Brittany. I'm so sorry. If I call you that to your face, Brittany, that's just what we call you. And it's in the most loving way. Kira. We all hate you. Um, Kira will be at Texas too. She's going to be a classroom helper. The like process of doing your nails is disgusting looking, but when it's done, it's beautiful. It's like making a bag. Oh my gosh, everybody. I'm so proud of myself. I'm literally like pre-filmed into December. <laughs> now it's time to go to my real job. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, going on mute again. Okay, bye. Alright. I'm just waiting for this to molt. <laughs> Brittany, yeah, I love Donut. Donut is the cutest. Okay, do I have everything I need for stamping? I have the tape. Where? Yep, there it is. Uh, okay. I have. So if you've never stamped, and you would want to, oh, Kira, yay! I'm so so glad I'm making something with that extra purple vinyl. You sent me. Yay. Um, you need a lint remover to clean off your stamping pad. Tape helps, but isn't necessary. Um, stamping polish isn't necessary, but it's helpful. A smudge free top coat, helpful. <laughs> we'll add it to the list for January. Is my first hand ready to scrape off? No, it's not. I would say in four minutes, I'll try scraping because I don't like to scrape hard. <laughs> we can get custom stamps. Yeah, they're not hard to make. They're just etched. I bet you could do it on a Cameo or a Maker or an Etcher. Etcher. I hardly know her. I haven't stamped in wanting to. Okay, so let me tell you about stamping. I'm obsessed. They, the, um, how long does it take to do your nails start to finish? Probably two hours. Sometimes longer if I get really crazy. It's easier if it's just nail polish, but then there's dry time that you got to think about. Okay, sorry. Stamping. You need stamps. You need a stamper. You need a scraper. Maniology has a subscription that you can sign up for. It's like 20 bucks a month. Um, but to start, I think it's really cool because then you slowly build up your collection of polishes because you do need specific polishes and you can build up tools. But I canceled my subscription after a few months because I was like, I don't have time to stamp. These are really fun, but they're not all my style. So I just buy the Halloween box now. <laughs> They're always my style. Um, yeah, and the polish. Yeah. So it's pretty easy and I will definitely show you. I need to figure out what color I need to stamp over. So I'm doing this color. Yes, you can skip and pause if you don't like the month. Oh, I was gonna say I have a code. I think it's so whatever if you want money off at Maniology. <clears throat> not sponsored. Is that an affiliate code? It's not an affiliate code. I just get, I think, fun stuff eventually. I'm not worried about it, but it saves you money. So I have a huge container full of polish. You can stamp with regular polish. No, that's not good. Yes. Um, maniology. Maniology. There's two main stamping companies that I know of. There's Moyu London, which isn't as good. They look very cool, but it's not as good. Um, yeah. Ooh, I'm thinking black. All right, yeah, these are definitely ready to scrape. So I will scrape gently. I bought their polish that looks like a makeup. What? I need to look at that one. I use the liquid latex brush on cuticle guard. You paint it on the skin around your nails. Oh yeah. So nail stamping, I was seeing Instagram ads for it and I was like, that's fake, that's not real. And I was like, oh my God, it's totally real. It's super quick, easy nail art. I think I tried to do a video showing it one time, but it was really bad. Like the polishes I received that much month were really see-through and translucent. And I was super awkward and nervous during the video because it wasn't sewing. But tonight I don't care. All right, so I'm scraping off my polish. but you don't want to scrape too hard because you don't want to scrape up your natural nail. 
but I even still need to shape them. So it's coming off, but I don't trust it. It's taken off some of my builder too. I wish I had an e-file. It's one of those things, um, reapply if need be, yeah, that I bought on a whim, but I wouldn't buy it again on a whim because it was expensive. Scraping off gel polish gently. Yeah, Beyond Polish is a great purchase, a great place to purchase. Polis. Polish. Oh my god. I have Builder on too, so I'm I'm scraping gently, I swear. Should I soak it? God, I cannot sit for that long. <laughs> Waiting for it to soak off. Or should I just I don't know. I've been using Beatles brand. Oh. Lauren, please soak with acetone. Okay. I don't okay. I'll soak. I'm gonna pick out my stamping polish and then I'll soak. Yes, mom. Um, I feel like my nails usually last maybe two weeks. All right, let me find the black. I have a sparkly black and I think I have just a regular black. Acetone. I do my own overlays. You will damage your nail beds if you scrape off gel. Yeah, that's true. You ready? Oh, it burns. There are many cuts I did not know existed. sorry do the foil wrap with acetone it never works for me I've heard that saran wrap works better I also used to have those like shrimp looking clamp things <laughs> love the live working with the pascal texture vinyl the color change dice made a backpack and Christy crossbody oh yay when will you have the color change dice in we have um the uv reactive changing dice vinyl in stock now we still have a bunch left which is good oh I know foil is best holds in heats holds in heat for faster removal that's fair I'll have to try it again I'll have to try it the clamps didn't work for me makes sense um what else As far as products go I have a lot in development I'm very excited <laughs> it's very expensive um, how many people would be interested in a woven label subscription box because it's in progress I'm very excited <laughs> mm -hmm. Kimberly I need to add that to the list I, I do um, I've been trying to get away from as many um, trademarked items, but I guess I would if you lived in Canada. That's fair. Hmm. Hmm. May have to talk to um, Zipper Valley about that. 
That'd be fun. I love her. We don't have any kind of relationship, but <laughs> if you were in Australia, it's just a call box. Yeah, that's true. The I think the TARDIS or the police box is public domain. Hello, Anna. How's it going? Oh, website stuff. Um, we added an edit order feature. So if you place an order um, and it hasn't been processed yet, you can edit your order. We have certain hours that you cannot because that's when we are printing orders and processing. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. I saw it on a website and I was like, ooh, I love that idea. Because I get a lot of emails and I never mind um, of like, hey, can you add this to my order? I forgot this or do this, do that. And I'm like, hmm, if it doesn't cost much to let people do it themselves, why not? <laughs> When did I cut my hand? I don't even know. We are super fast. <laughs> it is a problem. A good problem? How is your little miss doing? She's doing good. She's so fun. Um, she goes to what we call daycare, but it's, um, my friend has a nanny and we take her as well and pay her to watch two kids and then they kind of entertain each other too so it works out um, but that's like four days out of the week and she's learning all kinds of colors she said purple I had some pink and blue pudding and she was like purple and I was like well you can have pink or you can have blue and she's like purple <laughs> like I could have them both and get purple and then I think she knew because she loves painting, which is sweet. Bien. I have four, including twins who are almost 11. Oh, man. Oh, she knows yellow. We need to teach her yellow. Lalo. Lalo. Hey, CJ. No, oh, okay. I was gonna make him plug my phone in. Lello. All right, I feel like that did a good, uh, I'll wait till 30. Dorothy will be designing fabric soon. I really think she will. Um, We have Another year until she has a hip appointment. She's doing better, but she's not declared hip healthy yet. So, not bad. I think it's at like 25%. It should be at 20% or something like that. <sighs> I love when they learned to talk. My daughter was forever looking around the room saying, Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. Try to gently scrape, very gently, I promise. Hi, Cheryl, how's it going? I was just thinking about you the other day. It's like, I wonder how Cheryl's doing. I don't get to do a lot of late night lives anymore, so it's nice to be able to see international friends again. Uh, do I have a 180 grit file? I have a hundred grit. I don't have 180. Hmm. Hundred. Oh, I'm sorry. I like the Builder Gel. I like it. Um, I mostly concentrate it towards the end of my nail. I thin it out towards the base um, just so I can have 
better nails for turning bags, honestly. All right. Yeah, 100 grit can cause burn spots. That's That sounds about right. I did watch some videos when I got the e-file about that, so I try to make sure I move it around. Okay. Tracy, if you can, send me an email with things I need to buy <laughs> to better do my nails because I really hate going to the salon. Um, just because I like to do my nail, my my own art. Yes, it does help with strengthening them. It's just taking it off that I hate. Um, but I talked to my friend who does my hair and she's a bit of a nail tech and she was saying like, you do not need to take the builder gel off if it's not lifting. You can just go back over it. Don't they make a Dremel attachment for that? Yeah, they definitely do. And I have used my husband's Dremel. If I could afford shipping, I would send you all. That's fair. Just be careful. I will. I promise. I'm like barely putting any pressure down. I'm just trying to get the color off. I'm actually a qualified nail tech. Amazing. Then you have all of the info of what I'm doing wrong. might just have to buy an e-file again. I think it was one night. It was like 2 a.m. Because taking this stuff off is what takes the longest. Like shaping them, I've got no problem with and whatnot. Um, so my friend Dana, I don't know how long anybody's been in so whatever, but Dana used to make bags all the time. She got into nails and she has a, an Instagram called Dana's Dips and she's really into dip polish but one of the companies she works for is Dipsters Custom Dips and she was showing their gel and gel builders because you can use them with dip so I try that. I was taught by the lady who was the representative for the original acrylic nail stuff. She was my cosmetology teacher. That is so cool Judy. So right now I'm really just scraping at um, the builder to even it out. My honest opinion on builder gel, do not waste your money on luminary system. Mine separated and looks like chewed bubble gum and I can't fix any solution. Can't find any solutions on how to fix it. I did nails in the 90s but then just focused on hair for 27 years. Oh wow. That's amazing. What a tough industry to be in and nobody really, you know understands how skilled that profession is and how much knowledge you need to have. Okay. I remember Dana, wasn't she the penguin? Yeah, particular penguin. Yes, Judy, totally agree. And every time I go, <laughs> I gave up 20 years ago. Um, anytime I go to get my nails done by a professional, um, there's a product at Sally Nail you can use. Oh, send me a link. Um, and they get just, they just get so thin from doing that.
Ben's mad I can't pet him right now. You rough up the gel coat, then paint the stuff on, and then use your pusher to scrape it off. Much easier. Okay, I was using um, a remover, but it just didn't seem to be doing anything. A flake off coat. I'm not coordinated enough to do my own nails. I'm totally, totally going to be up a creek when the woman who does mine leaves. You don't have to remove all of it. You can leave a base if it's not lifted. Okay. Good to know. All right. I'm going to do one more swipe of the acetone because I think this side of my nail is done. I will send you some screenshots tomorrow in an email. Bless. I love it. Teach me. Teach me all the things. Okay. This is the Sally cuticle remover. I don't do a lot of scraping around my cuticles. Oh, Cheryl. Yeah, I remember Harry. Is he not okay? <laughs> suit my nails are a wreck nobody cares oh Cheryl I'm so sorry our Connor boy is close too There's only nine. Oh no. That's the worst. He had a heart attack. Oh. oh no. <laughs> New nails. Does this mean a live sewer tutorial? No, I've done all my tutorial filming until into November. So you'll get old nails. But they look, they look fine. Oh, that happened to a good friend of mine too. They woke up one night and suddenly their cat was not okay and then she was just gone. It's awful, I'm so sorry. We are all sending you a big internet hug. I'm sorry.
trying to get the gel polish off. I've soaked and everything. I'm just not, like, it won't come off. I don't think I'm patient enough. This is usually why I go have it done. Well, not usually, but why I prefer to when I have gel. I did have just nail polish for a while, and I can do that by myself. But, like, I'm not patient enough to take it off. I just want it done. I just want to sit there and watch hometown and let it magically come off of my nails. Okay, so I use the Sally Beauty cuticle remover and I just do a super gentle scrape after it's soaked for a hot minute. Like I don't even push. I just lift. That's it. Aw, Cedar John. Oh, congrats. I just noticed the title of the live. Speaking of sloppy and unprof unprofessional, I just got my shirt. Oh, yay. Yeah. Come do my nails while I work. There we go. That's what we needed so magical. We need a nail tech doing nails. So I will need to wash my hands and then I'm going to apply a little bit of, should I do a builder or do I need the gel base? Any updates on zipper jig? Hopefully by November. I'm watching on my TV and listening on my phone. I love it. Yeah, like, doesn't the acetone, hasn't the amount of soaking I've done? Yeah, it's not. Builder is definitely not even either. I'm also trying to keep the grit off of my actual cuticle area. So like all the pressure I'm putting is on the rest to try to get the pigment gel off. There we go. Okay. Yeah, 45 minutes to remove it. But I guess if I just soaked for 20, maybe it wouldn't take so long. You have to wash with a brush and don't use soap. Yes, okay. Can do. Don't use soap, that makes sense. I do use alcohol before. Yeah, okay. So I'll do a gel base, one little layer of builder, and then I'll do my thing. Oh, my body. I'll definitely need to get CJ to get a phone charger for. <laughs> Whoa, that nail is super long, my God. like awkwardly shaped I guess if you can answer what's your favorite nail shape everybody will you grab my phone charger yeah from my machine yeah Yeah. 
the whole thing. Yeah. For. No. It's ground. Are you gonna be able to be at work at eight? <laughs> yes, I will be at work at eight thirty. I probably won't shower though. Well, shower's all right. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of almond. Like a round almond is my my jam. Have you tried nail stickers? I used to do jamberry, if that's what you're referring to. Um, I think I did Color Street once, but somebody told me that the gel, like the half cured gel strips, are really good. But I guess that's Color Street too, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Yes, I love the half cured gels from Dashing Divas. I think like one of the main reasons I don't love those is because I just really like to do the nail art myself. Girl, you were jamming, Pokemon. <laughs> okay, it's really though because there's like 65 people in my friends list. Yeah, washing your hands a lot will make you have to redo them more. That makes sense. Okay, I'm just scraping at the builder gel that's literally coming off. All right, I'm happy with the amount I've removed. They look decent. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Um, if people are looking for Pokemon Go friends, you have my permission to post and so whatever. <laughs> Although I will admit it gets exhausting opening and sending gifts. And I watch your bag videos at night while hubby snores and I pick at my nails every single time they start to grow out a little. Oh, okay. I'm fine with the level of polish color I have removed. My cuticles look fine. Worked at an, as an ICU nurse for 20 years, never could get my nails to grow out. As soon as they'd start to show past the end of my finger, they'd break off while doing some ungodly nursing thing. Oh, what an incredible place to be a nurse though. Thank you. <laughs> you did ask for more Pokeballs. I did. I wish this upon myself. 
luckily um, we found a park that Dorothy loves to go to um, and it is a poker stop. <laughs> um, okay. Do you like the Juki 1541S or do you prefer the one you have? Um, there is nothing in the world that I prefer more than the Juki I have. Why am I picking on it? I'm going to cover it. Um, that being said, a lot of people at the Sunny Workshop really loved the Thor 1541S. And I believe that that is like a really good in-between of the two. Um, and you can get a small workspace foot for it, which is pretty cool. Like, and it's small on both sides. It's like an eighth of an inch foot. Quarter of an inch, maybe? No, eighth of an inch on each side. So it's pretty small. But I can't say for sure because I have not fully sewn a bag on it. So I don't know. Why am I picking? I'm going to cover them. All right. Where's my alcohol wipes? There they are. Sweet piece that I have the Juki 1541 and love it. Yeah. Oh no. Where'd it go? There it is. Will you please show the builder gel you used? Yes. Let me, I will lower the camera. Thank you for mentioning it. Okay, so I'm doing the gel base and it's from Dipsters. I don't know if there's better, it's just what I have. I have a typical brand equivalent to your Juki and that's the 1181. Okay, prep nails, swipe each nail with alcohol. Probably shouldn't shake that. If anyone's, again, if you're like, don't swipe your nails with alcohol tell me that too. See, so it just has a ton of these from the VR headset for like disinfecting it. So it's just what I use. Okay. Base and then cure for 30 seconds. So I do a really light layer of this. Normally I have a light on right here. I don't know why I don't have one. You are doing correct with alcohol to dehydrate. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. And you want to be careful not to flood your cuticle with it. My husband grinded the larger foot down to make a set with thinner sides. Oh, genius. I'm just gonna do the one side, 30 seconds. Hello, Sheila. We're just doing our nails. You need the actual binder dehydrator in one, not as damaging. Oh. Brushing the tips helps to seal the product on. Okay. I'm so bad at brushing the tip, but it's true. Uh, 30 seconds for the first one. And this builder gel comes with a little instruction card. I used a dehydrator and primer but if you don't have it, alcohol is fine. Oh, okay, so that's that's on. And then I'm gonna finish the base. Should we plan nail, painting our nails into so whatever weekends? Okay, so do you just like do that and then it self levels? Because I think it's it's the tip swipe I've never mastered in my many years.
Um, I don't know what this light is. <laughs> um, I really don't know. It's the Jamberry Color Cure Light. My sister used to sell Jamberry and I bought it from her. I suck at the tip swipe on myself. Okay. All of nails are base coated. What is going to be your next bag? So I actually just made the, the I think it's the Xena bag from Care, Care Designs, Care Threads. There we go. And that is an amazing bag. It's an LED. Okay, this is an LED. Is that good or bad? I think, isn't the UV bad for you? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Apply builder gel. And I'm just going to do a little bit of builder gel. <sighs> I am always up late. I'm just live late. What is these? Oh, there it went. Okay. LED is good. UV is bad. Okay. Good to know. They changed from UV to LED. Okay. Yeah. I feel like one time I was at a nail salon and someone was like, oh, you shouldn't do that. You're going to get skin cancer. I was like, what? Okay, so the Builder Gel is a weird consistency. Oh, thank you for blessing. Um, it's all UV, but LED is faster. That's fair. I do pretty thin coats because I can get away from you really fast and you don't want it super thick at your nail bed. Hi, Ben. Oh, Ben. I'm sorry. Come cuddle later. I actually bought, like, the jelly tips a million years ago. To try okay and then you can hold it upside down to help with the shape especially if you have a lot oh, that's too much Okay, 60 seconds for the first layer. And then if you wanna add more, you cure longer. I'm just doing the one because I already have some on my nail. And then you swipe with alcohol to remove that tacky layer. Okay. Tracy said you can build it up with a few thin layers if it is just an overlay like you were doing. Okay. A lot of the lamps now just say LED. What is your favorite activity to do with Dorothy right now? Oh. I think reading a book is really fun with her. Um, I love taking her to the park 
when there's other kids around too because she's always like when we go to the park she's like kids friends <laughs> and she loves seeing other babies and giving hugs I enjoy watching creativity and learning from all the ladies comments my nails are so short I tried to paint them but it always looks like my four-year-old painted them Aww. have a good night yeah I love learning from everybody too all right I can definitely feel I'm gonna cure these for another 30 seconds or can I not now that there's alcohol on them but they're just a little bit G gummy feeling almost. I have a two and four year old daughter. Oh, the best. Um, I am not putting gel polish on, so I do want to wipe off that inhibition layer by swiping it with alcohol. Yeah. But if you're not, you don't need to swipe. Yeah, that makes sense. And then trim, buff, and shape the builder gel and then apply whatever you need to because yeah I definitely need to shape this Nope, 60. I'd do 90. Nope, 60. It's fine. <laughs> What's your favorite song on Midnight's? Uh, I gotta say Antihero. It's been stuck in my head all day. But Lavender Haze is good too. And so is Karma. I'm a jewel. <laughs> I'm a professional... Instructor, good job. I've been in the cosmetology world for 34 years. Ah, yeah. Come teach me everything you know. No. <laughs> Kira, what's your favorite song? If you care. Oh my god, Cat messaged me. Same, same. Antihero. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I want to make a sticker with a bobbin that says, Hi. <laughs> Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> it's me. Hi. Everybody agrees. <laughs> I feel like I have too many bobbin stickers though. And who's gonna get that reference? Um, oh, thank you, Vic. Kat messaged me and she was like, um, I'm sorry, I just wanna make sure you're okay. Uh, Taylor released her new album and I haven't seen you post like anything about it. <laughs> I died. I keep saying that to everyone I see and no one gets it. Hi, it's me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm listening to it right now. Ooh. Yeah, I don't need that. I just used that song for a short on YouTube with the cats because it was suggested. Amazing. I was up and honestly, I hate it because that's what reset me as far as going to bed at a decent time. I'm like 2 a.m. Let's do it every night now. Um, 
but I stayed up to find out what the chaotic secret surprise was and when I found out it was more songs I was so mad I was like no I have to go to bed all right so I am now feeling for any uneven and weird spots on my nail and I'm feeling some so I'm just gonna really carefully really carefully I probably should be using a different grit for this but here we are it just ever so gently so that you get an even uh, I don't have a buffer a buffing block I think I had one but Oh, use the glass file. Okay. Um, I don't know where it went. I think it was used up. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I just use random songs. They said, yeah, sometimes it helps with views. I'm so close to a thousand. Better try a short today. Nice. Okay. So yeah, I'm just feeling around what's, where's the gross spots? What did I miss? Sometimes I get little bloopies because I don't let it sit in a certain shape long enough. The shape isn't perfect, but it's kind of what they shaped me up with last time. I'm just going with it. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah. Okay, so I did um, a manicure a while ago that had like cute little stars on it and stuff, and I've been chasing that high ever since. You can only play royalty free music on YouTube unless you have a license for it. Yeah. Or your video to be demonetized. Facts. Okay, done with that. Yeah, make sure it's smooth enough not to catch on anything. Okay. Okay. Clean up. Get rid of all the dumb, the dumb stuff because I don't need alcohol anymore. The top coat that I use um, does not need a, an alcohol wipe. Okay, we need that. We don't need that. Ooh, crap. Let's grab some of these, some of these. This, this is my top coat. Top coat. Okay. So I am going to be using a sponge to apply my polish because I want a bit of a gradient. And the way her polishes are made, they look so cool when they're stamped. Yay, the good part. I know, right? It's been. God damn it, an hour and 10 minutes. So the best way I found to get that gradient is to stamp the glitter essentially with my sponge. I, I need to get a light really quick actually so you can actually freaking see. Oh, it's so pretty. Yay, anti-hero. Okay, let me get a light, I'm sorry. Oh, 
So not to get really bright. And then Lauren said, let there be light. Hi, Tammy. Okay. Oh, this is the vibe. This is the vibe. Okay. So you could do multiple colors with a sponge as well if you wanted to. <clears throat> but I don't have the patience for that right now. I used to do fun gradients. So I am using the polish still kind of wet, but you can hear that tack and that's kind of the noise you want when you're sponging. So I don't know if you can see, like it looks like a mess now, but I promise it won't. I don't think this would work with all polishes, but with how much like micro glitter is in these, it works really well. And I'm gonna do a few coats. Uh, this one is not a maniology polish. I missed the beginning, I always thought your nails were so beautiful, they look so natural. Did you have tips on? I do not have tips on. These are my natural nails. Um, I bought tips, but I, I cannot apply them. <laughs> no, no, no. I am using the polish all too well from Schlee Polish. And yes, I bought it because of the name. But also the color was stunning. Mm, the problem is me, it's me. I... These are like Scarlet Witch burned fingernails. I love it. Uh, you can do that with gel latex, but you have to put, or gel polish, but you have to put gel. God damn it. <laughs> you can do it with gel. You have to put latex first. Yes. And I have a ton of like cuticle tape, but doing it this way is never that messy. So I just, whatever. And you really don't want to do it when the polish is like soaking wet. Like that is the noise you want for doing it. Otherwise you end up with something that looks like that. Not good. And you want a thin layer of polish when you're doing a, a sponge gradient. You don't want to glob it up. There we go. I spent countless hours feeding Dorothy at night just watching nail polish videos. <laughs> just like, take me away from this. And then make sure you let it dry in between sponging sessions. Otherwise you'll pick up previous. Oh, that one's like perfect. Most of my viewing is sewing nail. Yeah, I have like sewing, mostly makeup.
Okay, second layer. You can see it, it's just like a metallic, such a pretty finish. And like, yes, nail polish can be expensive, but you're never gonna use a whole bottle before it goes bad. Well, you're not likely to, so I don't mind doing this kind of nail art to help me use it up faster. Like, I can't wait to get comments about how my nails remind them of someone who works on cars because they're dirty at the ends or something. Mm. Mm. Uh, my top coat will be gel, yes. Well, I do a smudge free top coat for the dip, um, let that dry, and then I do the gel. Right? It's really cool looking now. <laughs> like, you gotta trust the process. Doesn't it look like Scarlet Witch fingers just like burned at the ends? And then I do end up painting along the tip, but I do a couple dabs of this first. Um, I found this way by accident one night. I just really wanted the polish to ombre, but I wanted to cover what was already there. So the first one I used was her, um, her color Rapunzel. Yeah, I buy them because of the names, but they're also gorgeous. Um, yeah. Okay, next. Hand. And I've done it with other colors too, obviously. Us with your vinyl. Maybe that's where I get it from. Alright, so you're telling me I need a Taylor Swift line of polish. Not polish, um, vinyls. Baja Blast. <laughs> yes. The new, um, the Baja Zero is really pretty. It's like bluer than the old Baja. One's a bit of a mess, but I think I can save it with my next tapping. And what's nice is if you're going to stamp over this and like you've got a mess up or something, you can, nobody's gonna notice. And I also love doing it this way because you know it's dry when you go to stamp. Okay. Just kind of checking everything out and cleaning up. I think this hand is pretty much good, but what I'm gonna do now, sexy baby vinyl. <laughs> yeah. I think that's one of like the cringiest lines, but it's it's getting to the point where it just makes me laugh now too. So I'm just with very light pressure, like painting the tip. Just 
so that has the most impact of color. Oh, top coat before you stamp. I also wondered, like, I mean, I'm not the kind of person who's like, oh crap, I messed up my stamp, time to redo it all. I just deal with it and move on. But, um, like, if you could create almost like a cloudy look with it as well, like a lifted look, you know what I mean? Probably not. <laughs> So yeah, it's not the smoothest gradient. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. I can't for some reason, um, but I like it. It definitely works better on a lighter colored nail polish. Mm. I love it. It's like a beetle. Oh, cool. Yeah, we've probably got like 30 minutes left of it. Yeah, like layering. Clear jelly stamper has layered stamping, stamping plates. Um, I have tried color change nail polish, like with heat, like the thermal ones. I have a few. They're just, my nails are never long enough for it to be like really fun all the time. Yeah, from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Start it over. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. And like, I'm not worried about them being super even, but I think I'm gonna try to fix this one a little bit. And I probably wouldn't need to do this like tip part. Oh, <laughs> with the color change. Um, if I did another layer of sponging, okay, I don't think I can fix that part, but I'm not worried about it. You can see that like weird divot there. Yeah, it's fine. Nobody's going to look at my nails that closely. Um, one of my good friends went to have her nails done in St. Louis um, by a professional and they looked amazing. It took two hours and the lady charges 75 bucks an hour for like intense nail art and stuff like that. And she does incredible work. And I'm just like, oof. And like they look incredible. I would not like, I mean, I would not want to pay that. But I feel like for a really special occasion or like a really big treat yourself. And if you love having your nails done, I would say it's, I mean, I'd hope it would be worth it. Like, I would hope it would last at least three weeks. <clears throat> I'm not a professional, but I've been doing my nails for four years with the help of YouTube. Yeah, it just goes away so fast. Yeah. Oh, Kira, I didn't know you played guitar. Why didn't I know that? No, it does not work well for that. <laughs> Put on enough coats and use your nails as picks. <clears throat> well, crap. 
I don't like the colors I picked out anymore for stamping. Well, okay, I don't think I'm gonna do the clouds. The clouds are really big and would cover up a lot, but this is a really cute plate. So I think I'll just do spider webs. Ooh, look at that one. This one has little stars and spider webs, but then it probably should be white instead of black. Yes, it's certainly an art worth a price for sure. It's one of those like, it's worth it, but is it worth it to you? You know what I mean? Okay. I wish I had like a pearl white because I don't want like bold AF white. I can mix it. I did mix last time. So maybe I'll try that. Oh my God, excuse me. Ooh, or gold. <gasps> gold. Oh, that's not gold. I don't have a good gold. That's the problem. Hmm. Okay. Well, note to self, buy a good gold for stamping. Um, let me try. Let me try. I spent a lot of money for what I have, but it is worth it to have nine to nails. Yes. True. Okay. So I have a gold, but it's magnetic. Hopefully that works. Okay. Ugh. Oh, silver. Silver would look cool. I have these like black silvers. Mm. Silver would look cool, but I think gold is the vibe. If I were a better paint like nail painter I used to um I would just freehand some spider webs but I'm not so I wonder if I mix this gold with a little bit of white what we can do oh that would work This is Bam White. I thought it said Betty White. And I was like, oh, rest in peace. I thought I had a pearl. I do. I do. I do. This is why you should decide before you paint. You can do it. <laughs> <coughs> Yes, glitter stamping does work if you use a glitter stamping polish. So I have this one. Here's what we're gonna try. Here's what we're gonna try. I need to get a nail polished brush that I don't care about so I can mix better. It's just gonna see if I mix that with a hint of this gold. Is it gonna be the vibe? Because this gold is. Mm. Oh, I think it's the vibe. Okay. So you need to be prepared when you start stamping. This is, use a toothpick, that would work too. All right, you need your stamper. You need to know where it's going. You need to know what you're using. Usually you paint your, um, can you all see pretty well if you're wanting to know what's going on? Um, you scrape your color, you paint your color on, you scrape it in, you gotta work fast. Scrape, pick up, oh, it's the vibe, it's the vibe. You gotta press fast. Oh, it's the vibe. 
I don't know. Here, let me try to zoom in. Can I? Oh, I can zoom in. I did it. Yeah, I just wanted the most faint looking spider webs. So then if there's anything left on your stamper, or if you didn't pick it up right, you just hit it on your lint roller. And then if you get anything on your cuticle or nail bed, you can pick it up with um, scotch tape if you work fast. All right, and then you're gonna need a clothespin and you're gonna need a cotton ball. And then you're gonna need easy access to your acetone and then you need to clean your plate off each time for the cleanest application. Okay, do not acetone your stamper, okay? Do you hear me? Repeat after me, do not acetone your stamper. All right. And I usually keep my scraper in my mouth. So take, take what you will from that. All right. So I'm going to try to do this. She's laughing at me somehow. You want to glob it on good. Don't underdo it. All right. And then swipe away. Scraper back in the mouth. Roll to pick up and then stamp. And sometimes you can use the stamp on two nails. And if it's lifting, just kind of press it down. Oh, it's the vibe. This is the best I've ever done. All right, go to clean. Make sure the acetone dries well enough. And you could try to use that again, but it may not work. Let's try a little more gold. One of my favorite things to do is ombre the plate because it looks so cool. All right. Oh, I did not clean off my stamper. Kira, I also love snow on the beach. All right. Okay, I don't think I can show you better, but you have to work fast and you want to roll it. But it dries pretty quick. I did not need a new craft, but I'm here for it. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Yep. Mm. I'm excited. Thank you all for hanging out with me while we do this. <clears throat> Um, two of my friends and I used to have little nail polish nights and we'd stamp. It was fun. Be careful with your stamper in your mouth that you don't get nail polish on your face. <clears throat> oh, Emily, I'm so sorry about your nails. She said I was sewing today. I had my fingers too close and the needle screw came down and broke my whole nail off. Okay. So if you don't have the smudge free top coat, you want to make sure that whatever you use is water based, I think, but I really recommend the smudge free top coat, but make sure you don't drag the nail with the brush. <laughs> Did you float it? But yeah, you just want to do a gentle top coat. Let that dry. Usually I'll do like a gloop and spread it quick. Yep.
but there's also reverse stamping, which is really cool. I've done it a, a little bit, but then you need to have um, little nail art brushes and well, you could use a dotting tool. And then you need to use a, um, a, sm a sticky base coat to stick it to because it's gonna be dry. So what you do is you pick it up, you can paint behind to add more color and then you use a sticky base and then stamp it down. I get all my stamping stuff from Clear Jelly Stamper and they have stamping top coat. Ooh, I'm finding out new dangerous places to shop. But yeah, Ugh. arachnid fingers, creepy. Creepy witch hands, that's my vibe for 2023. Okay, let's keep going. All right, I can get two fingernails off of one of these plates, which is cool. They also have really cute ones that have spiders, but spiders scare me. <laughs> That's a lot of nail polish, but I think I can reuse it. So what I'm doing is kind of mixing it and then smearing it in. And then pick it up. And then you gotta work fast. All right, Kira, ready for the perfect day? We're gonna get in your Tesla. <laughs> We're gonna listen to Midnight, <laughs> sing along and go fabric shopping, okay? Tell me when. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna re-smear this polish in there. Ooh, that was a bold choice. I didn't swipe it first. I don't think it'll work. No, it won't. Eh, no. You know that always happen. All right, it's time for a new. My daughter is like, oh, you really like this, huh? <laughs> Aw. Okay. Mm. There we Let me know if I need to zoom out or change up the camera angle since I'm on like the last two nails. Yeah, the plates can wear out over time. That makes sense. I don't remember what video I saw the clothespin in, but I was like, oh my God. Duh. Maniology has this like big tool, but I think it's too big and too hard to use. The clothespin is great. And I had a million after a baby shower, so. All right, one more. What it, is the, the view okay for the final? <laughs> All right, a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Oh, that's a lot of that. That's okay. Scrape it. Roll it to pick it up. Oh, the glitter in it. So good.
Mm, I should have done more from that angle. Crap. Not can't see stamp the nail. Sorry. Okay, so then if you want to, you can take a brush to clean up, right? Definitely Scarlet Witch vibes. I'm here for it. <clears throat> okay, clean up your mess so Dorothy doesn't get to it. This is the Moon Cap polishes. The packaging is just my favorite. Those are stamping polishes. Put the cover back on. I mixed nail polish on top of this and I was like, oh, I'll just wipe it with acetone. No, you idiot, it's plastic. Don't wipe it with acetone. But don't call me an idiot. Okay. We're gonna top coat this guy. So it only took like an hour and a half, but painting doesn't take that long and stamping can take that long but it really is quick once you get the hang of it and like you can stamp fake nails before you put them on too but it's deciding what to stamp and what colors to stamp it that take forever Okay. Just got here. I was so confused for a second. Yeah. All right. Back it out. So now I'm going to do the glossy gel topper. They also have a matte gel topper, but I've never tried it. And the matte gel topper, you can see, I shouldn't say I've never tried it. I tried it once, but you could see every terrible looking nook and cranny. So this is 90 seconds, and this is a pretty nice feel and top coat. Easy to swipe on. Going a little central. Oh my God, this ring nail is my favorite. Hopefully I did okay. 90 seconds on the clock. I'll do 60 and then 30. I just got my 1541 S yesterday and trying to work up the nerve to try a bag. Do it. But maybe I'll do my nails instead. No, no, no. Just turn on a nail tutorial. No, a bag tutorial. Oh, nails. Um, do I have a video coming out tomorrow? No. Thursday? What's up now? What is tomorrow, the 27th? No, Thursday is. I have a video coming out Thursday. Okay. I should schedule that now. Oh, wait. I don't have links yet. Okay. No, I won't. I'll ask Alex about it. Ooh, 30 seconds. Okay. I'm 
I'm going to try to make a Catalina crossbody. It's all cut out, but I don't have any Decaville heavy. Oh, what do you have, Kira? Maybe it would be okay with that Decaville heavy. What do you? What did you cut it out of? What'd you have for dinner? <laughs> Alright, so this hand is done. Boop. Boop. I don't trust this top coat yet. It still feels wet in my soul. So the one thing I love about a gel top coat is like, well, it still feels a little tacky. I'm gonna let go. Um, it's not gonna smudge now. I am not gonna chip it. If I decide I have to go to the bathroom, <laughs> I can still wipe. I have duck of the light, but I can go buy some. Try two, two layers of the duck of the light. I think that would work. I'm working on an NCW wallet. Ooh, fun. I love how it's called NCW wallet. <laughs> or how we say NCW wallet, but really necessary clutch wallet is the W. What about an all leather Catalina and waterproof canvas? Um, Leah, I would say you would want to at least use Decaville light in place of Decaville heavy, just so it has that structure. If I paid somebody to do my nails and they looked like this, I would not be thrilled, but I did it, so it's fine. <laughs> like, as far as the shaping goes, not my best work. Okay. Lauren, I made your car trash can and I used it in my house by my Keurig. Oh, that's genius. I'm gonna try to quilt it so I have foam. Yeah, I don't think you need Decaville Heavy. Two layers of, um, that would be fine. Ooh, what a, uh, LOL, like ATM machine or pin number. Yeah, yeah. Lauren, I'm, yeah, yeah, I read that. I'm copying Lauren. That's okay. You have my permission. <laughs> You're not copying. We took inspiration. Mm. Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Widow. Mmm, <laughs> cuticle oil. Ah, what did I do? What is that? Oh, it's just some... What is that? Cotton ball? It's fine. My friend was like, I really like this bag, and it was yours. <laughs> Amazing. I love that. Now that I have clear vinyl, I want to make the bomb.com. Yes. She came to help me cut it out. It was fun. Oh, yay. Yeah, a lot of times when my friend want my friends want bags, I'm like, cut it. <laughs> it blew her mind that I had the exact same stuff. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, don't use your teeth though. That's it. That's the TikTok. What about that cuticle oil? Um, I don't usually clean up my cuticles and stuff, but I think I will because it's a mess. Like it comes off.
Feel free to use cuticle oil, everybody. Your nails will appreciate it. Okay, that's it. Any other questions about anything before I go sit on my phone for an hour? One sink of dishes cleans the cuticles up. Great facts. Almond is my fave. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, look at all that vinyl. Mm. I have eye polish up real nice playing in my ear yeah of course thank you for requesting it I've been meaning to do one I just anxiety okay. and then I have a place for everything to go to be put away Maniology has these fun <laughs> books. I love it. So I have all my Halloween polishes in one. And then I have a book with other ones, with other stamping plates. And then I try to clean up when I'm done. <clears throat> What is that on the back of my phone? <laughs> um, so I ordered myself a custom MagSafe pop socket and it has the same scissors and I love it. All done. <laughs> All done. All done. Um, but these are pop sockets that'll be add so magical and they're the swappable one so if you already have a pop socket on your phone that's swappable you can add that too they clash but they're mine and that clash so it's fine here's my nails it looks like there's a big piece missing in that but there isn't i'll post it in my stories too Okay. All right. So if you buy from Maniology, you don't have to. Code so whatever. 10 code. Let me find it. Find it. Found it. It's so whatever ten. So whatever ten. It's so fun. Okay. No questions. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go lay in bed and figure out my life. Um I think the release is happening next Tuesday. I don't know. November 1st. Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I'm so glad my nails are done now.